Okay, so I'm trying out a new filming spot today. I don't know if I like it or not, but we're just gonna try it out. Hi guys, it's me Jessica and welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be doing a Morphe brush haul. I bought a few brushes from Morphe and I'm so excited because I don't have that many makeup brushes and I really want to start my collection and I thought what better way to start it than ordering from Morphe. So here's my package right here and it says fragile handle with care side note i just filmed a makeup tutorial on this look so i'll go ahead and put a little annotation somewhere on the video screen and i'll go ahead and put a link down below too but you should go ahead and check that out too so i actually already opened this package i try not to open my packages until a haul but like i couldn't contain myself okay i got really really excited so i got this yesterday and look at these brushes so beautiful guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I got and I'll be putting all the links to all the brushes that I show you in this haul down below in the description box so this is the first brush that I got and it is the M527 it is so soft oh my gosh so this is what the brush looks like it's so beautiful guys so again this is the M527 and it is the deluxe pointed powder brush and the bristles are made from goat hairs and I bought this brush because I wanted to use it as like a bronzer type of brush I don't really have a bronzer brush so I decided to pick this up and it is just super super soft kind of put it over here and like around the temples and just like on my jawline like anywhere where I'd want to bronze up the face I, and I could also use this as like a powder brush and I could just take some powder and just like pat it all over my face I can use this to dust away the loose setting powder after I'm done baking like this is just a really versatile brush and I'm just so excited for it okay so the next brush that I got is another face brush and it is the E58 so when I ordered um, the whole elite collection was 40% off which is crazy and I I wanted to order a ton of elite brushes but by the time I ordered most of the elite collection brushes were sold out and like they're already discontinuing this oh my god I'm so sorry I got like distracted from how soft this is Okay. Morphe's already discontinuing their Elite collection, which is kind of sad because I really do like their Elite brushes. Um, I think I only ordered one Elite brush or maybe two, but from the looks of it, I think the Elite collection is absolutely amazing. I kind of wish I didn't discontinue it, but Morphe did say they're coming out with a newer, better collection, so I'm excited for that. Holy crap, their brushes are just so freaking soft. Okay, so this is the E58 brush, and this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I love this brush so much. And this is an angled buffer contour slash powder brush, and it's made out of synthetic hairs and I was planning to use this as like a blush brush and kind of just like dust the pigment over my cheeks and I could also use this for contour like I could get this right in the hollows of my cheeks and again this is just a really versatile brush and I think this is really really good quality and holy crap I just can't get over how soft these brushes are and so I'm gonna show you guys one more face brush and the last one that I got is the M459 and this is a flat contour brush and this is what it looks like so I ordered this thinking that I could use this to clean up my contour, but I also realized that you could use this for contouring in itself. But I initially ordered this just to like get some loose setting powder and kind of just like clean up my contour because I've seen a lot of YouTubers do that and their contour is like on fleek and you know, I want my contour to be on fleek so... I got this brush and it's just like a cute little short stubby brush so now I'm gonna move on to kind of like the smaller brushes so the next brush that I got is actually a lip brush and I got the E19 and it's a pointed lip brush and this is what it looks like and its bristles are made of synthetic hairs and I planned to use this for a liquid lipsticks to get right in the corner of my lips like right in this hard to reach area and I also could use this with just any regular lipsticks lip glosses anything next I got this brush and holy crap I'm so excited for this brush and this is is the M410 and everybody's been talking about this brush and this is just a flat contour brush and this is what it looks like and its bristles are made of synthetic hairs and I got this to clean up my eyebrows with some concealer I also got it to clean up around my lip but this is just a perfect brush and this could totally take your makeup game to the next level and now we're gonna move on to the eye brushes and I got four different eye brushes and I'm so excited I freaking love eye brushes they're probably like one of my favorite types of brushes so the first eye brush that I got is the M431 and this is the precision pencil crease brush and this is what it looks like and it's made of goat hairs and I plan on using this to put inner corner highlight and I could also use it to do some brow highlight and I also could use this um, on my bottom lash line to put any pigment there and of course I could pack on some shadows on my crease and this is just an all-around versatile brush and I love it so so much so the next brush that I got oh my gosh this is the one that I'm probably most excited about and it is the M441 and this is the pro firm blending crease brush and this is just what it looks like 
Holy crap, I'm so excited for this. So again, it is made of goat hairs and I was planning to use this for transition colors or just putting on shadows in the crease and I'm just so excited to use this. I've seen so many YouTubers using this and their transition colors are just like so perfect and they always blend on so smoothly and the edges of their eyeshadow are always so seamless and everything is just smooth and perfect and I wanted that so I picked up this brush and I am so freaking excited to use this. And the next brush that I got is the M433. Again, another brush that I'm super, super excited for and this is what it looks like and it is just a pro firm blending fluff and it's made of goat hairs and I plan on using this for blending pretty much blending it's really really fluffy and it has a rounded head so this is absolutely perfect for blending and this could also be perfect for packing on some color on the lid so I'm super super excited for this brush and the last brush that I got is the M562 but this is what it looks like and again, the bristles are made of synthetic hairs, and I just plan to use this for blending again. You know, you can never have too many blending brushes, so... Just gonna blend my heart away with all the blending brushes that I bought. Okay, so that's everything that I got from Morphe, and I'm planning to order so many more brushes because I just want to build my brush collection, and I just want to build a huge, huge brush collection. So I'm planning to order some more brushes from Morphe, and I also want to order some from Sigma. I want to order some Luxie brushes. I want to order some MAC brushes. I just, I want to build an amazing and expansive brush collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below any video requests that you have for me and if you're not already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications for my channel so you'll be notified every time that I upload a video and if you want to follow me on any social medias all my links are down below so I hope you have a wonderful day I love you and bye